we're hand steering to Palma. Oh, I blew my eardrum. Well, this morning was a bit of a false start. Um, we were due to leave for Palma this morning. We were pretty darn excited. And we turned all our navigation on and autopilot's not working. So I know it's the head unit. I tested, I have a backup head unit, but the backup head unit's a bit faulty. But um, we had a lot of moisture last night uh, in everything. The boat was soaking wet inside, but I think some moisture got into this panel. So I'm gonna pull the panel apart and have a look. But yeah, false start, so. Autopilot troubles. Alright, so you can see there's moisture inside here. So, I don't know, I mean, here looks pretty dry, but I'm gonna try and pull this apart more and have a look. Verdict is. We're hand, hand steering. We're hand steering to Palma. So the head the head unit worked good yesterday until we got to the anchor when we were anchoring and it started going on the fritz and yeah it doesn't even turn on now. So I think we're buying a new head unit in Palma.
We've made it to Calablanca in Palma, Mallorca. So the trip was 45, well, 48 nautical miles, and we did it in about seven and a half hours. So we motor sailed for pretty much the whole way. And there's only one other sailboat and a massive powerboat. So um, yeah, this is beautiful. The water is absolutely crystal clear. Um, but one of the things I wanted to mention was um, for those who are going to travel to the Balearic Islands, they have this thing called Posidonia. I know Nat has mentioned it a couple of times already, um, but it is really, really difficult to anchor in some spots because of the Posidonia. And there's a lot of patrols in a lot of places you go, and they will actually inspect your anchor and your chain to make sure it's not going through the Posidonia. Um, this one was quite complicated uh, and actually took us two or three goes to get the anchor set right and sort of get get it so that the chain's not going to rip up the Posidonia so it's so clear I can actually show you over the side what the uh, you know what the bottom sort of looks like when you're approaching the anchorage so let's have a look so as you can see you've got these sort of these lighter patches which are where sand are and then these darker patches which is the Posidonia the next morning we were lucky enough to have Natalie's cousin Vicente and his son Juan Pablo join us on board Zephyr so we took the opportunity to go out for a sail Although the winds were light, everybody had a great time and we celebrated the end of the day by having a few drinks and a few snacks. Just keep on believing. We are dreamers of the shore. The next morning, we decided to hike around the corner to the next Kala and explore the town of Andrex. So we're here in Palma and we're just taking a stroll, having a look around this, the town of Andrax. Yeah, we just walked here from where we're anchored. Pretty 30 long, minute walk. 30 minute walk, yeah. In the heat. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to explore Andrax now and check it out. And we might treat ourselves to some lunch for the first time in a long time. <laughs> Tell us what's happened, babe. Why is there blood coming out of your ear? 
I blew my eardrum. I was diving down, we saw this bag on the bottom. It was about 25 feet, 20 feet, I don't know. I've got the fitness of an 80 year old right now. And I was diving down and I nearly reached it and it, yeah, it blew. And I think it was the third time, I blew it two times surfing before. And it's been a long time, it's probably been five, six years. And yeah, it, hurt. it hurts a lot. So oh, I'm out of the no. water now for a bit. And uh, yeah, there's blood as you can see, so. Join us next week on Sailing Zephyr as we leave the south end of Majorca and head up to Port Soler on the way to the north end of Port de Polens. If you are new to our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button to follow the journey aboard Zephyr.